we have just got some massive, massive announcements coming out here for the entire cryptocurrency industry. And that's coming from Circle, the issuer of the USDC stablecoin, as well as the X, formerly known as Twitter, and a few other interesting charts I want to share with you here as well. But this is how mass adoption happens. We are seeing right now the early stages of a situation for the markets during this relatively boring and sideways accumulation period where we're just waiting around for something big to happen. Big things are happening in the background. Big things that don't have overnight impact. Even ETF approvals don't have overnight impact. Once they get approved, then they have to get listed. Then people have to start bringing their money in. And long term, very bullish. Short term, people are probably get overly excited about it. What is interesting, though, is when we see these on ramps that are going to potentially bring in millions to tens of millions to potentially hundreds of millions of users. So today, it was announced that X is now licensed to store cryptocurrency, to transfer cryptocurrency, and to exchange cryptocurrencies for its users. That is seriously big news. You have to remember that X has over 400 million monthly active users. It is one of the most profit, uh, profitable, it is one of the most popular social medias in the world. And it has a very engaged community when it comes to people seeking information on crypto and stocks and investing in macroeconomics. Like, I feel like the, the X audience is a little more on to things compared to the average Facebook user, for example. So anyway, X is going to start rolling out, hopefully soon, of course, we don't know when they're going to start using this license, but Elon Musk has said he wants X to be the payments app where you can come and do everything. You can do your social media, you can do advertising, you can hire people, you can send money transfers from point A to point B. I wouldn't be surprised if X launched a stable coin at some point in the future, but I think we're going to see Bitcoin coming to the X app. I think we're going to see Dogecoin. I think we're going to see Ethereum, probably a few other top blockchains and their assets being tradable and being usable for payments and for buying stuff. What if X introduces some kind of marketplace where imagine you're a creator and you're selling t-shirts. You can just sell them straight in the app. People can buy them straight through the app. Bada bing, bada boom, one click, boom, you're done. Paid in Bitcoin. That's what we're talking about here. And of course, as Mr. Harry Lazani points out, you got to remember, Elon was in PayPal back in the day too. So Elon knows about payments. Maybe this is what he always wanted PayPal to be, which is part of the reason why he left. And we shall see. But it's very exciting news because these are the kind of stories that really build the fuel for the coming bull cycle. Because what do you need to send markets higher? You need new users coming in. You need more money coming into the markets. And this is how you get more users and more money into the markets. As well as the next story, which honestly, on such a big news day with the whole grayscale Bitcoin thing, Stories like this don't get as much attention as they should, but this is a seriously large story. So Jeremy Allaire, he is the CEO of Circle. Circle is the issuer of USDC. He said the largest fintech company in Latin America, uh, Mercado Libre, or Mercado Pago, which is part of Mercado Libre, basically the Amazon of Latin America with 200 million users is rolling out support for USDC in key markets, starting with Chile. That is huge. Mercado Libre, they've been into crypto for a while, by the way. Shout out to Mercado Libre for being early on the crypto game. They are about to introduce their 200 million users. And remember... Crypto is popular in Latin America. Places like Argentina have seen huge adoption. Places like Brazil have passed sweeping laws and seen huge adoption for cryptocurrencies and so on and so forth. 200 million users are about to get access 
to USDC stable coins that is on chain. On chain. These again, this is how we see things go crazy because once people get all those stable coins in their hands, the friction for going into Solana and Bitcoin and Cardano and NFTs and all this stuff is reduced dramatically. Add in the uh, PayPal PYUSD, 400 million users coming soon, coming soon. Really reminds me of this meme in the midst of it's so over. I found there was within me an invincible. We're so back. We're so back. This has honestly been the feeling all year for, I think, a lot of people in the cryptocurrency industry. One day, it's so over. We're done. Regulations are going to kill it. Something's going to collapse. Something's going to break. Next day, big news. Oh, we're so back. XRP is not a security. Nothing's a security. China's bringing liquidity into the market. PayPal's arrived. Mercado Libre's arrived. X is going to launch the super payments app with Dogecoin. We're so back. Reality is we are so back. We never really left. It's going to take a while. None of the stuff happens overnight. Again, I really want to uh, hit that message home. But these are the kind of stories that build a massive runway for a massive bull market to happen. Next time, we're not stopping at $3 trillion market cap. We're going to go to $8, $9, 10000000000000 trillion market cap. How much gains are going to be had when we move from $1 trillion to even back to three? Massive gains. What if we go to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten trillion? Very possible with all this traditional finance money coming in, real world assets coming in. Things get real crazy real quick. Before we break down the rest of this, just a reminder if you're not signed up to the Wealth Mastery newsletter yet, you got to get signed up. It is the best damn newsletter in crypto every single week to your inbox. We are sending you all the latest happening in the cryptocurrency industry, the latest news, the latest altcoin alpha, the latest airdrops that you can make money on, the latest DeFi tutorials, the technical analysis, NFTs, news, and much, much more. Best part is you can join our 75,000 weekly readers by signing up for free using the link down below in the description or going to thewealthmastery.io. See you there. Now, this is a, a, a mind-blowing chart here for me. So this is monthly active wallets on chain. This chart is insane because it shows definitively that we are, well, we're so back, baby, realistically, but it shows something very, very important that throughout this bear market, we have gained users, bear market, early stages of a bull market, this accumulation period, we've seen a massive surge in active wallets, monthly active wallets on chain. So at the peak, basically, of the last market, we got up to about 55 million, something like that, uh, monthly active users on chain. Last month, we had about 110, 115 million monthly active wallets interacting on chain. It's been a little over 100 million for August so far. These are incredible numbers. Crazy bear market. Everything's bad. Everything's going to pieces. Everyone's all scared every time the price drops 3 or 4%. And look at what's happening. We are at basically new all-time highs from monthly active wallets. What? That is not like the previous bear market, by the way. Last bear market, 2018, 2019, we didn't get cloudy. We didn't get soup. We, we got close-ish, let's say. We certainly didn't double our previous high, not even close. So the all-time high monthly active wallets interacting on chain in December of 2017 was like 20 million. And we got back up to like maybe 15 million in mid-2019. But not like this. We're almost 10 times higher in terms of monthly active wallets interacting on chain compared to 2019. And we are again double what we were at the price market peak. 
And I know, I know to an extent, this is people opening up wallets and farming airdrops and that kind of stuff, but that's not everything. We are seeing real activity going on here because look at stuff like this. This is addresses with balances of greater than 0.01 BTC. So small holders of Bitcoin, small holders of Bitcoin, people with 250 bucks a Bitcoin. Well, we now have 12 million. 280,919 addresses holding that much Bitcoin or more. And that has steadily increased right throughout the bear market. So since the peak price of Bitcoin, where we had 9.2 million addresses, we basically added 3 million new addresses right throughout the bear market. That's a huge increase. We went from 9 million to 12 million pretty big. The amount of uh, people holding their Bitcoin for a year or more, almost just slightly off its all-time high, currently at 68.7%. People are not interested in selling the Bitcoin at these prices, of course. And all of that stuff comes in with the backdrop of what's happening on the macro scene. Current market expectations for the path of the Federal Reserve funds rate. So a lot of Market participants are seeing that we're going to see a pause in September, that November could see one more hike, one final hike in November, December pausing again with the market currently pricing in the first cut, January 31st, 2024. March, May, pause, pause, June cutting once again with moving into the end of next year the rates getting back down to around four and a half percent. So that mean, that means that we are going to see the high interest rates narrative starting to go away. That as interest rates start falling, more risk on attitude starts coming into the market. And again, it all aligns, doesn't it? Because we're going to have the Bitcoin halving in April of next year. We're going to have Bitcoin ETFs approved. Rates are going to start falling. Inflation, in theory, might be tamed. If we can have a bull run with inflation high, too. We've had those situations in the past. A lot of stars are aligning here for a potential bull market to go crazy. But still, we have all of this fear that does remain in the market. A lot of stuff still hanging over us. And a lot of that stuff is quite valid. And some of these things... If you look at some of the data out of the USA, I mean, some of this data is stuff that has predicted all varieties of insanity in markets and big crashes and all this stuff for a long time, historically. But that's the direction we're heading in right now. Users are up. Adoption's up. New companies getting in are up and so on and so forth. So it's all painting a very bullish picture for the future of the markets. Again, nothing happens overnight. We could have accumulation continuing right into the Bitcoin halving and slightly thereafter. But we will have a new cycle. The only question is when and are you prepared for it when it does happen? <laughs>